Welcome back to the Global Business Report here in Arise News. Let's talk loans and access to those loans for SMEs on the African continent. While there has been substantial progress over the past decade, access to finance continues to be a key constraint for firms in Africa, particularly for small and medium enterprises. Sub-Saharan Africa lags behind other regions uh, in access to finance with only 19.9% of firms having a bank loan or line of credit. You can see the Middle East and North Africa, 25.4. Southeast Asia, 27. Latin America, uh, Europe and Central Asia, uh, way up as well. Uh, joining us to discuss how tech can be used to improve access to finance for SMEs uh, is Ife Delacqua Lawal. She's the founder and team lead at Oyster Finance. Good morning to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, so what is your take on those figures there as far as the 19.9% for uh, Sub-Saharan African SMEs? I think um, it's not surprising, but it is disappointing yeah. that we are still lacking, um, lagging behind so far. Um, and I'm saying it's not surprising because we know the situation of the credit, um, the credit situation in mm. the, on the continent. But it is disappointing that we are in 2023 and the situation still remains the same as it was back in 2017, even though there's a little bit um, increment in the figure. But yeah. This okay. should have been a great increase. Now, can you talk to us about how technology can democratize access to finance for firms? I guess that's what you guys do. So to help us understand how this can be. Because everybody talks about tech like it's magic and it can make these things improve. But how can it be done? Right. So um, we tech, tech can bring um, access, can bring about access um, and the channels and the way we leverage tech to reach people that are on the self and people that are on the at the bottom of the pyramid, yeah. we can leverage technology um, to reach them. And that's um, what we are doing at Oyster. At Oyster, we are building a micro-lending infrastructure for the unbanked. Mm. So lenders can start giving micro-loans like 5,000 to 100,000 through our infrastructure to mobile money operators, to um, merchants, the local shop owner on the roadside, and to um, gig workers, this, like the Okada riders, yeah. the Keke Mara, um, the Keke drivers. And this is through the channels we are building. We are building channels that these people can use. Most of these people don't have smartphones. They don't have access to the internet. Now we have to provide a channel, a USSD channel, or a um, backup channel that they can use to access these um, loans that we want to provide to them. And then we need to think about how they would, how we can do credit assessment on them, how they would repay these loans, how we would disburse the money to them. If most of them don't have bank accounts, how will the money get to them? Okay, so, so explain that. What, what other um, metrics are you using to, to assess their credit worthiness? Uh, thank you. Like I said, we are focusing on mobile money operators, merchants, and gig um, gig workers. Okay. We use um, the transaction of what they do. So if you're a mobile money operator and you're using um, a mobile money app to do your day-to-day -day transaction, we take the transaction on that mobile money app. Mm -hmm. We don't look at your banking record. We don't look at your credit bureau data. You probably don't have any footprint with the credit bureau, so there's no need. Mm -hmm. But you have a credit um, for a transaction footprint on the mobile money platform or on the merchant platform, how you're buying inventory, um, the number of inventory you're bringing, in, um, you're bringing in, how you sell them. We take that transaction. We also take transaction on your um, how you buy airtime, how you buy um, mobile data. Okay. We take those tran transaction and also your utility bill, your address. We put it into consideration to do credit assessment. The person living at um, Obalin, they might not get the same type of loan someone at Tiko you will get. So we use your address and then the amount you pay in utility bill as part of the transaction history. So these are what we call alternative non-traditional data mm. that new tech companies like ours and other um, peer-to-peer lending pa platforms are making use of to be, ab to be able to make microloans accessible mm. to, to the unbanked and millions of underserved. Okay, speaking of the unbanked, there's more data from this uh, World Bank report from, uh, I think it was 2020 or so, where, you're, I mean, there's been some improvements. If we take a look at one of these, okay, so for example, this is uh, banked adults now. So you've got from 2014 to 2017, an increase there, 34 to 43%. Uh, there's more, I think, on women and also access to uh, mobile money as well. So banked women, 30% to 37 mm -hmm. And I think mobile money access. So do, what do you make of this? Is, this? is this enough of an improvement or not? Again, 
It is uh, not surprising, but it is disappointing. Okay. We are in 2023. This shouldn't be the number we'll be seeing. So on it should be higher. Screen. It should be way higher. Okay, okay. It shouldn't be the number. We are pushing the needles of um, financial inclusion in Africa, but we are not pushing it far enough. Mm. This should, shouldn't be the number. But um, you have the likes of fintechs are trying to... Um, help like fintech alone peer-to-peer -peer lending digital platform did about 771 billion um of the loans that came into the country mm. as of 2020. okay so that's fintechs coming up to try to push the needle and now if we get more support from the government maybe that number will okay, go faster improve. all right so we've got some data from your your sites in terms of I, I guess loan metrics to merchants and to um, mobile money operators. So, so mobile agent loans, typical credit here, you're saying fifty to $2,000 average loan. What is this average loan request? Is that the number of requests you get in a month? So uh, yeah, from the mobile money agents. Okay, okay. Uh, the terms are pretty short though, 24 hours to 30 days. Can you, can you pay back a loan? <laughs> In 24 hours, or, or you know, how, how, what, what's explain the, the terms there? So it's a working capital loan. It's okay. not for, um, it's not a consumer loan. It's not for like medical or your house rent or whatever. Right. It's a working capital. Okay. You're a mobile money operator. You need floats to do your transaction day to day, day in, day out. So as you get, as people are coming to get money from you, as you're helping them with electricity bills, I want to, you're getting money, you're getting inflows back. We are just giving you enough floats to do that transaction transaction day in, day out. Okay. The money is not to get out of you have to do other things. Other things. Gotcha. So and that's why our term um, our tenure is that short is between twenty four hours to a month and as you repay we'll increase the amount that you are able to get and as you better your credit score on our platform we are then able to grant you like the consumer loan, loans for your maybe emergency loan for and then we can extend that to up to six months mm. but this is what we start with and the loan is um uncollateralized that's ah, why so it's high well it's, you're, you're it's not high the, the non-performing loans though not that's that's pretty good i mean zero that's lower than even the, the banks <laughs> commercial banks thing. that's why we know that's what we're doing is a closed loop loan right it's for mobile money not not just anybody can get their app and then try to get right, loans from right. us so it's you have to be part of a set mobile of money people. circle okay I really want to, you to talk to us about farmers because, you know, initially when we got this data from the site, we thought this was ongoing, but then we talked before we came on. And <laughs> apparently, uh, let's, let's skip to farmers. Apparently, you're saying you guys don't, you don't give loans out to farmers anymore. And look, by the way, this was pretty low. So it was $2 to $50. Um, 24, the same 24 hour terms. Now. So what's going on? Why, why have you, what's the, with the update of loans? Why are you not doing loans to farmers anymore? So the loans to farmers were supposed to be for them to get fertilizers, for them to get crops and things like that. That was the um, loan to farmers. That was our ideas of loans to farmers, but we cannot reach the farmers directly. So we needed like a middleman, like a platform that already is um, reaching the farmers and helping them process whatever they grow and help them sell it. So we give the loan to those middlemen. They then get the seedling and the fertilizers for the farmers. Okay. Not that the farmers get the cash on their own. So it's been um, it's been a hassle getting those middlemen mm. um, that are trustworthy. That would be the um, that we would give the money to, and then they'll guarantee it gets to the farmer. Yeah. So it's been it's been a real hassle, and we can't start building channels to reach the farmers directly. It will take a long time because most of these people don't I have smartphones. No smartphones. They also in the rural areas. Rural, rural areas. Right. Right. So, gotcha. Well, hey. This, these are the, why we get these founders like yourselves to tell us what's really going on. Um, real quick, APIs. I understand you've got a um, API uh, plugins yeah. for SMEs. Uh, how, how does that work? So, um, like I said, we are not a lending company. We are a lending infrastructure company. We provide a software that lenders can use okay. to extend these loans. And um, we have SMEs that want to start, like, if you want to start a merchant platform, for example, you want to start your buy now, pay later hmm. platform, you need, uh, you need liquidity. Yeah. You need uh, credit assessment. Um, you need KYC verification. You need uh, an API for collection and recovery. We provide those um, APIs from um, beginning to the end of a loan transaction. Gotcha. So those are the APIs we make available to MSME. So right. you can start your buy now, pay later. All right. Well, I will. All right. <laughs> and, by the way, and just for our viewers, application programming interface is what, what APIs stand yeah. for. Application programming interface. interface. Machine learning, AI. Can you quickly tell us if you are? There's all this talk of AI. Are you somehow incorporating that into the 
loan screening process. Can you talk to us about that? At the moment, we are incorporating machine learning in a way that um, in a way that when a credit comes in, when a credit request comes in, the, it's a machine learning that does the whole um, assessment. assessment. Okay. So we put the data we need it to assess, and then it gives us a figure if this person is qualified for us to give a loan or not. So we don't use, there's no like manpower behind it. Right. We've configured all our algorithm into the um, ML, and then as the more it keeps um, doing, the more it keeps churning out numbers, the more it gets better. So yeah. um, machine learning is saying that. In the future, will we use AI? I think so, because the future is moving to AI. Right, Everything right. will be AI enabled. Yeah. So it, ju it just makes sense for us to start looking at ways that we can use um, artificial intelligence in our loan application process. Right now, we use it for customer support. So okay. if you go on our platform and um, you want to chat with your customer support, it's probably AI that would answer you before moving you on to, the re to a real human. But we also want to look at how we can infuse AI in the um, credit process yeah, yeah. also. But yeah, yeah, it's um, something we're looking to do in the future. But, Great yeah. conversation. Always good to talk with tech founders and see how they're doing these things to extend loans uh, to SMEs and uh, and the like. Uh, if uh, Dolakwa Lawal, a team lead uh, founder at Oyster Finance, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you coming in. No, thank you so much for having me.